Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. Enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hi, I'm David Otwell. And I'm Roger Otwell, here on the deck of Mr. Welk's home overlooking the Welk Resort, San Diego. It's a place that we know very well, and we sure enjoy being here again after so many years. <laughs> we really did spend a lot of time here because Mr. Welk had a training program that he used for all of his new performers. He would have us work at his restaurant here at the resort so we could meet and get to know his fans. We worked here for almost a year, and I mean worked. We would sing for the customers once in a while, but our real job was bussing tables. That's right. <laughs> we were two of the busboys clearing tables and setting them up again on the days we weren't in Los Angeles rehearsing and doing the show. Mr. Wilk, with a grin on his face, always said he wanted people to have a career to fall back on just in case show business didn't work out for them. Even though we were just the busboys, <laughs> Mr. Welk invited us to live here at this wonderful home with a great view and countryside. <laughs> it was our home away from home, and we spent a lot of late nights talking and dreaming about the future. As we became more well known from being on the Welk Show, people in the restaurant started to recognize us and wouldn't leave their tables after they finished eating. <laughs> we caused sort of a ruckus every time we were there, and the restaurant manager at that time, Adrian Edwards, finally asked Mr. Welk to please release us from his training program. We didn't miss the work, but we sure missed all the great Welk fans, and Adrian, who always made sure we ate real good. <laughs> Coming right up is a program you won't want to miss, and here's Mr. Welk to get us started. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings, friends, and welcome to a show we call Morning, Noon, and Night, a program of familiar songs for all hours of the day, starting with I Don't Care If The Sun Don't Shine. Gentlemen. Here's a young lady who always lights up the television screen and any time of day or night. Let's enjoy a song with lovely Anna Connie. Did you see I've got a lot to learn? Tonight 
The sky's a black board high above you If a shooting star comes by I'll use a star to write I love you A thousand times across the sky One thing isn't very clear, my love the band for an all-time favorite to fit the mood of our show, Carolina in the Morning. Gentlemen, one and two and... <laughs> We haven't done many dates in the Carolinas, but we'd sure like to. Even though we have full-time jobs with the United Filter Company, we still enjoy performing on weekends whenever we can. We had such a great time in Scranton, Pennsylvania this year, working with Mary Lou Metzger, Joe Feeney, and Dick Dill. Ava Barber's husband, Roger Sullivan, was there, and we played to over 8,000 people. <laughs> the public television station in Scranton broadcast Milestones and Memories, and we helped host the evening. I'm happy to report that the Welk fans were as generous as always. We also helped to fundraise in Dallas one night, and it was broadcast in Lubbock, too. <laughs> and, of course, this was the 11th year we have helped our friends at KACV in Amarillo. It's always fun to be in their studio and to talk to all of our Welk friends again. We helped Plainview, Texas celebrate their pioneer days, and it was our usual mix of classic popular songs and country hits. Well, there's a country hit coming up next that we're sure you'll all remember. The great country singer, Charlie Pride, made this next song popular. It sounds like a wonderful way to start the day. Let's enjoy it at this time with our own country gal, Ava Barber. Whenever 
my chance to meet some old friends on the street. They wonder how does a girl get to be this way? I've always got a smiling face anytime and any place. Every time they ask me why, I just smile and say, You've got to kiss an angel good morning and let him know you think about him when you're gone. Kiss an angel good morning and love him like the devil when you get back home. Now people may try to guess the secret of happiness, but some of them never learn it's a simple I'm speaking of is a woman and a man in love and the answer is in this song that I always sing you've got to kiss an angel good morning let him know you think about it when you're gone kiss an angel good morning and love him like the devil when you get back home the devil when you get back home. It looks like a happy time of day for these four popular youngsters. We find the Aldrich sisters and the Oddwell twins walking in the sunshine. Take it away, kids. It's always so great to see one of the musical numbers we did with Sherry and Sheila. <laughs> They're still as cute as they ever were, but I think we've aged a little bit, Dave. I agree with you, Roger, and if there's one thing that constantly reminds me of my age, it's your kids. <laughs> I just can't believe how grown up they are. Well, Rachel is a sophomore in high school now and still loves to sing. She often performs with us when we're working close to home, and that's always fun for us and the audience, too. 
Adam is in the first grade now and is our pride and joy. And even though our family is pretty spread out, Rachel and Adam are as close as a brother and sister can be. She really has helped us out over the years, and Adam sure enjoys watching her sing with us. I like to watch Roger's wife, Millie, perform too. She has such a great voice. <laughs> Millie studied opera in Austria and has never lost her love for singing. She continues to work with the Amarillo Opera Company and is proud of the fact that Amarillo is the smallest city in the United States that has a professional opera company. Millie is also a good dancer and a character actress. She played the part of a harem dancer in the production of Kismet. She was really good. <laughs> if Mr. Welk had seen my Millie, he would have signed her up on the spot. Ken Dillo brings you a song that was a big recording hit for Frankie Lane, That Lucky Old Son. Up in the morning, out on the job, work like the devil for my pay. But that lucky old son has nothing to do but roll around heaven all day. Fuss with my woman, toil for my kids, and sweat till I'm wrinkled and gray. While that lucky old son's got nothing to do but roll around heaven all day. Don't you know I'm pining? Tears all in my eyes. Send down that cloud with a silver lining. Lift me to paradise. Show me that river. Take me across and wash all my troubles away. Like that lucky old son give me nothing to do but rule around heaven all day good lord above can't you know i'm pining the tears are in my eyes sit down that cloud with a silver lining lift me to paradise Wash all my troubles away Like that lucky old son Give me nothing to do But roll around heaven all We really liked the theme of this show and couldn't resist doing one of our favorite evening time songs. When whippoorwills call and evening is near, I hurry to my blue heaven. I turn to the right, whoa, yeah, you see a little white light. We'll lead you to my. See a smiling face, a fireplace, a cozy room, a little nest that's nestled where the roses bloom. Just Molly and me, oh yeah, and baby makes three. Oh yeah, so happy in my blue heaven. Oh yeah, so happy in my. in my blue heaven. Our morning, noon, and night show continues with the Latin beat and a timely tune. 
night must fall. One, two, This is Lawrence Welk, morning, noon, and night. Hope you're enjoying this week's Lawrence Welk program. And if you are... You can see we are now a trio, sort of like Gail, Ron, and Michael. Here's my wife, Leslie. Except I'm not going to sing. I'm here to talk about the hobby we all share. <laughs> hobby? I think it's an addiction, and I think the whole country has it. You're right. The Antiques Roadshow is public television's most popular show, and we love it too. <laughs> One night they had a pair of silver candle operas on the show that were worth hundreds of dollars, and I had just bought a similar pair for $40 each in Lincoln, New Mexico. I was so proud of myself. We shop for antiques everywhere. We found a fabulous 19th century armoire designed to come apart for travel, and a beautiful mirrored buffet, both of them right in Amarillo. I had to use carburetor picks to dig out the dirt at the front, but there wasn't a chip out of it. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we also found a wonderful marriage bed in our own hometown. Beds like these were purchased by newly young white couples over a hundred years ago and were decorated with torches for the man and bows for the woman and a big bow on the top of the headboard. I was particularly happy to get it because it was in perfect condition. <laughs> yeah. We pretty much have decided to give up on restoration oh, yeah. projects, especially now that we know that the Antiques Roadshow suggests you leave things in their original condition. Here are a few of the things we've collected over the last few years. This little teddy bear has a real precious meaning to all of us. The bear is made from quilt scraps from David and Roger's grandmother. Uh, the scraps were sal unsalvageable, so what we did, we had my grandmother, who's in this frame, make the teddy bear for us. So this will be a piece we can pass down for generations. If you look at the front of the table, I always say when you collect, collect with a passion. Well, I have a great passion for perfume bottles. If you'll notice the ones in the front, they are the colored perfume bottles and they're a little older than the ones in the back. And being a banker, I also like to collect banks. The dog in the front is July 20th, 1900 copyright. Cast iron banks are very hard to find now, and if you do find them, they're very expensive. This bank originally had red paint on it. If the red paint had still been on there, the price would be double what it's worth right now. <laughs> Millie and I have inherited some great family heirlooms. We have a portrait of Millie's grandmother, Georgia Lee, and her sister with a wonderful chair. We are so lucky to have both the portrait and the chair in our home, along with many other antiques. Antiquing is so much fun, and you can learn a lot about history, too. Take a look in the attics and basements of your old family homes, and you can probably find a few goodies right there. <laughs> hey, we better get back to another one of the most popular shows on public television, The Lawrence Welk Show. Yeah. Now here's a young lady from Kenosha, Wisconsin, now enjoying life in California. Let's join Kathy Sullivan as she discovers it's a most unusual day. 
It's a most unusual day. Be like throwing my worries away. As an old native born Californian would say, it's a most unusual day. There's a most unusual sky. Not a sign of a cloud passing by. And if I want to sing, throw my heart in the ring. It's a most unusual day. There are people meeting people. There is sunshine everywhere. There are people greeting people and a feeling of spring in the it's a most unusual time. I keep feeling my temperature climb. If my heart won't behave in the usual way, well, there's only one thing to say. It's a most unusual, most unusual, most unusual day. There are people meeting people. It's a most unusual time. I keep feeling my temperature climb. If my heart won't behave in the usual way, well, there's only one thing to say. It's a most unusual, most unusual, most unusual day. Thank you all so much. Any time of the day or night seems like a good time for a polka. So right now, let's call on Myron Florin for his own composition, The Happy Norwegian Polka. <laughs> Quartet, Guy Hovis, the Otwell twins, and Jim Turner, and a country hit of a few years ago, Delta Dawn. <laughs> Take you to his mansion in the sky. 
When she was 41 and her daddy still called her baby And all the folks around too just think she's crazy Cause she walks downtown with a suitcase in her hand Looking for a dark and mysterious man In her younger days they called her Delta Dawn the prettiest thing you'd ever laid your eyes upon Till a man of low degree stood by her side Promised her he'd take her for his bride Delta Dawn, what's that flower you got on? Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? After September the 11th, 2001, this song has a new and important meaning for all of us. Oh, say can you see One nation under God Setting all his children free and waits with open heart America, America God shed His light on thee One nation under God With justice and with liberty presence of your light and every day in many a way we know we're safe at night America America God shed his light on under God with justice and with liberty with justice and with liberty with justice and with liberty we are one nation under God Table. 
Durant, Oklahoma, and Gail does a beautiful job on any kind of a song. Skeets Herford is widely recognized among musicians as one of the great saxophone men of our time. Here's Skeets with a beautiful song, Moonlight in Vermont. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Listening to music is a pleasure at any time of the day. And I'm sure you'll agree, it's a lovely way to spend an evening. Did you notice our suits on this show? How could I miss them? Yellow, sky blue, lime green in the last <laughs> number. Our outfits look downright dull and boring, don't they? Adrian! Hi, Adrian! Hi, Roger. What do you have here? I think yes. I have a little something wow. for you to make you feel like kids again. Bus jackets. Oh, boy. 
Adrian, does this mean we have to work in the restaurant tonight? Well, we are a little bit shorthanded. <laughs> I don't think so. Help us say goodbye, Adrian. <laughs> so long, so long everybody. everybody. And here we are back live in the studio. Have you ever seen a bad Lawrence Welk show? I don't think so. Certainly not here on Public.